Hi everyone, I'm Oakley. I'm a filmmaker based in the high country of Arizona. Today I got an early look at a new cinema camera from Sony, the FX30. The FX30 has a lot of the same cinematic features as the FX3 and the FX6, but it comes at a fraction of the price, meaning this camera is perfect for filmmakers with leaner budgets and also filmmakers starting out at the beginning of their career. As soon as I got my hands on the FX30, I had some local filmmakers in mind that I wanted to test it out. First, I called up Deidre Peaches, a super talented mid-career filmmaker whose films have played at Sundance and who's shot on all kinds of cameras and all kinds of sets. Next, I called Shaunri Begay, who at the other end of the spectrum is just starting out as a filmmaker. The first thing we wanted to test drive was the overall image quality of the sensor. See, one of the biggest differences between the FX30 and other FX cameras is that it has an APS-C XMOR sensor. So basically it's shooting Super 35 format. That makes a lot of sense, especially for early career filmmakers because it opens up a whole world of cinema lenses. Until the last decade, pretty much all cine lenses were made for Super 35 sensors. And those don't cover full frame, so today that means that if you shoot Super 35, not only do you have access to the new glass, but you've also got all the classic cine lenses and decades worth of unique vintage glass. So for our shoot, we used some great lenses from Sony. some classic rebuilds from Voigtlander, as well as a plethora of miscellaneous circa 1980s lenses that I scrounged up online for between $90 and eight bucks. To show off the unique characteristics that vintage glass can bring to your footage, I thought it would be appropriate to pile my crew into a 1976 Volkswagen van. This is a beautiful example of classic character. I shot my first documentary in this van and we drove it all the way to Joplin, Missouri before the starter points fell off. To have the colors just really soft and vibrant, to have the picture quality of, of something of yesteryear is really cool. This is definitely something that uh, is creative as a filmmaker. Being able to incorporate that into an APS-C sensor that's shooting in 4K is completely phenomenal. FX30 is the same size as the FX3, so that means it's small enough to fit into tight spaces and get interesting angles, but also to operate all day without your arm falling off. Hi, I'm Deidre Peaches and I'm a filmmaker here in Flagstaff, Arizona, and today I'm working with the Sony FX30 along with this gimbal system. So what I really appreciate about the Sony FX30 is that its size and its weight is not too heavy as far as like maneuvering it with a gimbal. I was able to get in between um, shrubs and also foliage without worrying about um, the camera itself being so heavy. 
So far, my impressions of the FX30 is just how versatile it is. It can shoot 422 at 10 bit. And that's really cool when it comes to color correction, when it comes to brightening up your highlights and your shadows. So that's really helpful. And also too, you get a lot of features as far as the 120 and 4K, which is really awesome. Shanri was able to use it today and she was able to get some phenomenal shots. I learned that there's a lot to get excited about when working with a higher level camera. Hi, I'm Shanri Begay. I am from the Navajo and the Tana Optum tribes. I am a new filmmaker. Um, I have lots of plans, but not a lot of experience. I was initially intimidated. Once I started using it, I found that it was actually pretty intuitive. The settings are there to explore. I was able to scramble around in the creek. When you're starting out as a filmmaker, you're learning the basics of the craft, but you're also figuring out something even more important. Your voice and your style. With the FX30, there's so many cinematic features that there's not really technical limitations that would inhibit how much you can experiment. I kind of pointed the camera at things that just kind of daze me out. <laughs> I, I like I like being in nature because it sort of like gets me into a calmer, more meditative state. And so that's kind of what I point the camera at, like uh, ripples on water, looking up at the canyon walls. Uh, just kind of the calmness and movements of animals. I work as a river guide part-time. I just want to share everything that's cool about the desert and especially the waterways of the desert. camera opens up a whole new world. You can continue to explore and level up your filmmaking skills over time. I think the FX30 is a delightful addition to the Sony Cinema line. To me it says that Sony engineers are not just making cameras for the high-end DPs on Snowfall and Game of Thrones, but they're also making cameras for the future filmmakers who are just starting down the road on their filmmaking journey.